Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Anvil of Dawn. Full of strength that we are, it is finally time to progress the game. And the place that we need to go is the City of the Dead. Oh, goody! Here, nobles, the known and the knowing, take their final rest, yet hear their legends ever grow. Something is shooting me. Oh! Oh, goody! Dead people who shoot. Go away. An ivory lion key. Good. Joyous. <sighs> so, the city of the dead, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise known as. Oh, you get! No, you don't. You think you're obligated? You really are, buddy. You don't have to share anything with me. I, <laughs> you can have all the pain you want. These things are annoying. I wonder if the reflection spell deflects the, uh, the blows. It took me a while to add ranged combatants into the game. You're coming this way, buddy. Okay? I'm a nice guy. I'm nice, I'm approachable, and I'm friendly. Okay? I'm a friendly dude. You don't need to... to hack at me. I'm good. I'm a good guy. I'm Barry Coleman. Huh, I suppose I need to head south, don't I? Not liking it. <laughs> oh, there he went. You have to share anything, buddy. I've already been over this. You can just let me go. Where's the other one? So, we've met yet another lovely, lovable enemy in this horrid place. Here lies the noble and generous Veni Sumus, Queen of Upper and Lower Latrobe. Okay. Let's go into here. What's the worst that could happen? Well, there could be stairs leading down. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Ooh. Whoa! Let's find out what's firing that. What the? Oh, goody! 
Ali. What I just love to fight. Bones that are on fire. They make a squelching sound when I hit them. What is there to squelch? Oh god, and then they set on fire. blade over and over again. You are a man made of fire, a bow, and you look quite happy to be on fire though, I mean, that at least is a positive. You are happy with your lot in, in infernal life. These are called infernal bones, actually. And, um, And they set fire to things. Like that. I've lost five strength. Jeez. Trust in me and we'll escape from the city. City of the dead? No, you just want to set me on fire? I think we can do that. I think we can work out a compromise. The compromise is, you don't set me on fire. And in return, you instead reduce me to maximum weakness. So I take this guy down by chipping him. How well the ice spell does against this guy. Not what I'm going to try, because I have no mana right now, but. Ow! You don't actually hurt that bad. You gonna burn up for it? Time for you to melt, buddy! Oh good! Chain cloak armor! A war shield and a broad blade. Are you kidding me, right? Broad bladed sword, crossbow. This is stuff I threw away ages ago. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Hey buddy! fight this in a slightly better situation. We're going to fight here, so that there's no one that decides to fire fireballs at me from the other side while we're doing this. You and me, buddy. Mano Ascalo. I think the result is going to be a loss for you. Because I know how to backpedal. Do you know how to backpedal? <laughs> so... Did the Warlord come here and just decide to stir up the bodies of the dead? Or are these guys always this peed off? Actually, we're all kind of annoyed like this. This is basically how we say hello to people. We're like, oh, hello. Oh, God, I set you on fire. Oh, God, I set you on fire again. Oh, no, you're dead. Oh. What's this got? Ocean of Strength. Mix of heroic rage. That's it. A uh, for Warhelm. Chain cloak armor. Crimson rage. 
Bloodhaven. Poison immunity. We'll be holding onto that shield. <laughs> Trust me on that one, we shall be keeping an eye on that shield. This place is big. They don't like coming around corners to fight me though, do they? Not a fan of this place. <laughs> Not a fan of this place at all. But at the very least, I can look spiffy. Why did the Oracle have to say that only one of the five may survive? Couldn't you have said, well, the more of you that survive, the better it will be. And then I could actually know that I'm going to save people. <laughs> rather than not saving anyone. What does this axe do? 2d6. Eh. Meh. Don't need it. I feel less tired. Good enough to fight these guys, I think. Get him out. Must be a guy over there, too. Forgive me if I... Fight one of you at a time. Confidently stride up to you, don't they? Just little buggers. What a difference having any points of strength at all makes. It's a good thing this shield helps you naturally regenerate strength faster, otherwise, I'd be doomed. Imagine if you didn't use that shield. Recipe for disaster, wouldn't it? Oh, you're dead. I have to make sure I don't get set on fire by yet you. Come get me. Yeah, I think my strength's gone down to chip levels. I really don't want to meet what happened the uh, the other woman and see what happened to her. So it certainly is not a case of and they all lived happily ever after. Two down. And one more. I know you had a hot temper, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh God, this guy's gonna kill me for that one, isn't he? You tell bad puns about my kind. I flame cut you. <laughs> Look, if we could just have a civil conversation, you could let me pillage all of your worldly belongings. It's for the saving of the world that you no longer live in. To be fair, I can understand why you now want to actually hit me. The good news is you don't have to worry about me anymore, because you're soon going to be dead! Yay! What's in here? Healing potions? I can take that. Any potions. I'll also steal that. And... Q. 
cure poison potions. <laughs> oh well. Well, when we come back, folks, we will most certainly continue. So until then, folks, until then, I'll catch you later. See you then. Later.